back to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Amanda Marie and this is my YouTube channel. Um, I upload videos uh, two to three a week, usually more along the lines of two, but if I can, I try to squeak a third one in. Um, you can follow me on all of my other social media. I'm very active on Facebook, which is Amanda Walden slash McGill, M-C-G-I-L-L. -L. Uh, I have Instagram, which is Amanda M-C-G-M-U-E. And of course, on um, YouTube is Amanda Marie's Beauty Box. And also, I have Amanda Marie's Beauty Box business page on Facebook. Um, this is the third time I am shooting the beginning of this video because my mother and her dog have interrupted me not once, but twice. Um, so I'm a little frazzled at the moment because I've done this a few times. Anyway, um, today I am basically just getting ready for work. I uh, am a pharmacy technician for a, I am a lead pharmacy technician for a very busy retail pharmacy here in Massachusetts where I live. And um, I don't have to be until two today, which is good because I can get a lot of stuff done during the day. Um, bad because I'm gonna be there till nine o'clock at night. But, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get ready for work. I'm gonna do a very basic face. This is kind of like my everyday, basic face that I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna get started with some of this Benefit Professional Primer which I have been using. Um, I've been using this to try it out. I'm not sure how crazy I am about it. As a matter of fact, I think it might be the reason why I am breaking out so bad. Um, so I'm just gonna apply this to the areas that I uh, feel like I need poor help with. I'm not going to apply it to my whole face. Um, oh, and my sunburn. Look at that. Look at how red. Um, I can't find a foundation to match that, believe it or not. <laughs> um, I. It's actually a pretty... It's a shit show of a story how I got this sunburn. Um, I went to up to Maine this weekend. Um, I don't know for those of you who have seen the video before. I have a house. Well, my family has a house right outside of Augusta. I'm itching a mosquito bite right now. I've I think I counted 27 on my ankles and legs um, from being up there. Anyway, so um, we have a house on a lake, um, Lake Androscoggin. It's in like yeah it's 20 miles south of Augusta the most people would know where Augusta is not so much Wayne Wayne is the name of the town anyway so we went to go put the boat in the water this weekend and for those of you who aren't familiar like when you have a boat every year at the end of the year you have to winterize it so this guy comes to the house and he basically just um you know he takes like the old gas out of the engine and he um puts new spark plugs in the motor, re replaces the oil, stuff like that, just so that it stays nice over the winter. And then they shrink wrap it in this plastic stuff. And, um, oh, and they take the propeller off and unhook all the gas lines and everything so that nothing, you know, nothing disastrous can happen over the winter. So every spring when we go up there to um, to open it up, we have to put the, the prop back on and, um, you start it in your driveway and you hook a hose up to the engine to make sure that the water is filtering through. And usually it's, there's some kind of, you know, disaster. There's usually a very, very rarely go seamless. Usually like maybe a spark plug doesn't work or I don't know. Well, you have trouble starting it. You have to jump the battery, blah, blah, blah whatever so there's always usually some kind of issue and this year went um very seamless and me and my mom and tom my boyfriend were you know we were shocked we were like wow that was really really easy so <clears throat> we hook it up to the trailer we get it over to the dock we put it in the water um first shot so the ramp that you have to back the boat down in is a very steep hill and it's very long so I don't know if any of you have ever tried to back up a trailer before, but 
it's it's very um you have to be really careful and like the slightest movements will um throw you way off and then you have to like start all over again you have to back it back up and like start all over again so tom backed it in no problem got it in the water i was on the boat he almost didn't even get on the boat with me he almost went back to the house with my mother and then what i would do is just drive over to the beach and pick them up um but at the last minute i was like jump on with me thank god he did and so we're driving down the river i mean the lake and the boat, like we're giving it throttle. It's making a noise like it's going, but we're not really moving anywhere. And I'm like, this is kind of weird because we're not really going anywhere. So we stopped the boat in the water and now we're in the middle of a lake. This is like a four <clears throat> mile square. It's a big lake. It's a really, it's not, you know, not rinky dink. It's pretty big. We're right smack dab in the middle of the lake. We stopped the boat. We pull up the prop. We look at everything. Everything looks fine. I can't figure out what the problem is. We put the prop back down in the water. We're like, let's just give it another shot. We start to go again. The same thing happens. So we stop, we pull the engine up out of the water. The fucking propeller is gone. So, I mean, boats aren't rocket science. Most of you probably know this, but just in case you don't, I'm just gonna break down how important um, the propeller of a boat is it's what makes you go it's what propels you through the water and it's gone just there's nothing but a little nub there so I'm like well this is just just fantastic really really fantastic um, so I'm like well what are we gonna do because it's like early in the year there's not a lot of people out there and I'm like, we're in big, big trouble, like big trouble. And so we had no choice but to get out and swim. So we tied ropes to um, the pontoons on the boat there, what keep the boat afloat, cause it's like a party boat. And um, so we put ropes on that and now we're in the water pulling this 24 foot giant boat through a lake in the wind and the waves I mean it was just exhausting and it was like a good amount of time before finally we see this guy in a smaller boat and we're like flagging him down and screaming we're like hey you know like because we were exhausted it was awful so the guy comes over I shit you not and drives up to us in his little boat and looks at us and goes are you guys okay and I'm like does anything about this situation look okay to you? Like, we're not on the boat. We're in the water pulling the boat with a rope. Like, no, we're not okay. We could probably use your help, like, a little bit. So, Tom says to the guy, he's like, can you give us a tow? And the guy's like, yeah, where are you going? And we're like, there's a little cove right over there, blah, blah, blah. That's where we need to go. And the guy's like, oh, isn't it really rocky over there? And I'm like, do you think that I give a flying rat's ass about the rocks right now? I'm like, look, buddy, I've been towing this boat in and out of it, boat in and out of there for 15 years. Like, it's fine. We're, we're all going to be okay. Um, so he um, tied us up to his boat and he pulled us over there. And um, he pulled us like maybe like a quarter of a mile towards the shore like we still had to get out and swim like a quarter of a mile back to the shore so now at this point we've been gone for like i don't know probably a good 45 minutes to an hour we were supposed to go back to the beach and pick my mother up and i'm thinking to myself why has she not come down here like does she not realize that we've been gone for all this time and we were just quickly supposed to go get her and that should take us like five minutes no so we walk back to the house and we're like hey remember us like did you did you not think to come down to the beach and you know meet us there or whatever and she's like where have you guys been what is that oh my god i thought that was a spider i almost pooped my pants seriously that was ridiculous um Anyway, it was just an absolute shit show. So that is 
where this burn came from, from being in the water um, for all that time unexpectedly. Because I'm usually like a freak about sunscreen. I mean a freak about it. I usually do not go anywhere without putting some form of sunscreen on, but I didn't anticipate being stranded on a lake in a boat for that long. So that's my story about my weekend. That's what happened Saturday. Needless to say that um, once all was said and done, we drank heavily uh, for the remainder of the day and just kind of like sat by a fire at night and, uh, you know, just kind of made the best of what was left of the day. And uh, that was it. That's my story. So that's how I got this burn. It was quite the adventure, I must say. It was super, super scary. Um, and lesson learned. I will now make sure that the propeller is fastened as securely as freaking possible. I don't even know how we screwed it up because there's like a special torque wrench that you use that Oh, whatever I don't know this is we've Tom and I have had so many disasters on the boat let's see we ran out of gas once we were on there's a little river and we totally ran out of gas like just had no gas and we had to pull off to the side and Tom had to get out and like walk along the river till he found a house and this guy had some gas that he gave us which is really nice but that's my story so I hope, I hope you guys um, had better weekend than that. The rest of the weekend actually wasn't too bad. I can't complain, but it would have been nice if we had A, gotten to enjoy the boat, and B, did not get stuck in the middle of the lake. It would have been really nice. Uh, okay, so my face is um, contoured and set, and I am going to quickly go in and do my eyebrows. What did, what's my favorite thing that someone told me about brows is that they should be sisters but not twins. So mine are definitely related, but they're not twins at all. All right, so I think that that's good. All right, I'm gonna go in with some blush now. I know, I'm kind of doing this backwards. So this is my classic brush, 10 color brush palette that I got from BH Cosmetics. Um, they were having a really, really good sale over Memorial Day weekend, and I took huge advantage of it. Um, and I've been kind of just going in with, like, these kind of neutral colors right here. I really, really like them, and um, they're nice. They're light for the summer. Um, and I, I don't know, I've just been, I've been really digging this palette. It has, like, a lot of different colors in it. It has, like... A lot of pinks and it has like shimmers it has mattes it it's um it's a I it's definitely worth the money I think I paid it was on 50% off I think I paid six dollars and fifty cents for it for ten blushes BH cosmetics awesome they um I love love BH cosmetics I also got a couple eyeshadow palettes from them I got the take me back to Brazil palette I this was like a few weeks ago and I have yet to use it and I don't know what the hell I'm waiting for but since um June is pride month I'm probably gonna do like a very rainbowy look at some point with it so that's something that I'm gonna try to do soon this I also just got this this is um ColourPop super shock uh, highlighter this is in the color flexitarian I saw this on Nikki tutorials um, she had a video about um, affordable highlighters and I saw this on her um, on her channel and I was like oh my goodness and you know what honestly this camera does it zero justice it is beautiful 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 on um, and I'm just going to roll my nose and a little bit on my mouth. And I'm going to do a little bit on my brow bone. And just right down like that. And then I'm going to go on with my eyes. And that I am not sure what I'm going to do. I got um, these two new palettes from the hush app this is the retro love this is bad habit 
They are both Anastasia Beverly Hill palette dupes, but I cannot for the life of me right now remember which palette they're dupes for. But this one is really, really beautiful. They're so pigmented. There is quite a bit of fallout on them, but you just gotta be careful, not a big deal. Um, and then this is the other one that I have, and I really, really, really love them both. So, I don't know. I think today I'm gonna use the, the Arabesque. I don't even know how to say that. Arabesque, Arabesque. I'm gonna use this palette today. Um, and just to start, I am going to take this BH Cosmetics blending brush. I know that it's stained blue, but it is clean. And I'm just gonna go in, oh, oh, first I'm gonna put some concealer on my lid. And then I'm gonna set it with that powder. So I've been trying to think of like different things to do. I wanna make sure I keep you guys entertained. I'm trying so hard to grow my channel and uh, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do. So what I've been doing is I've been going on and looking at a lot of the challenges that people have done in the past. So I'm taking that Advent right there and I'm just gonna use that color powder to set uh, the concealer on my eyes. Um, and one of the challenges that I found, so I'm left-handed, obviously, um, and one of the challenges that I found was to do makeup a full face with the your non-dominant hand. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that video um, sometime this week. And I think that that would be really funny. Um, the other one that I really wanted to do was the small hands video. Have you ever seen those? Oh my God, so, so, so funny. And I'm working on a couple different collaborations with some other smaller YouTubers like myself. I'm really excited about that. Okay, so this is, I'm going in with this color interlude. Sorry, I'm just like chat, chat, chatting away. Um, so I'm going in with interlude and I'm just going to put that right into my crease and maybe blend it a little bit above my crease. I've had a lot of people um, contact me and um, tell me the last video that I put out with the green cut crease, um, thank me for doing that video. Um, a lot of girls with hooded eyes, they were like, it's, you know, they didn't have, they didn't know how to, how to do it, how to, um, you know, make their, cut their crease differently. And uh, they were like, thank you, that video helped me so much. And that is so awesome. Like, you know what, if you guys have any other, like, bloggers that you follow or anything and you see a video of theirs that really helps you with something let them know because I'm telling you that is like the best feeling okay so I'm gonna go in with this color waltz right here um, and I'm just gonna kind of darken that up a little bit oh my god these colors are so freaking pretty yeah, so so let them know. Let them know that, you know, if something they've told a video you've seen or anything has helped you or been beneficial, it's just really great to hear someone say thank you and or, you know, tell you that you helped them in some way. Because it's really, I mean, other than the fact that I just absolutely love playing with makeup, I mean, that's why I want to do this whole YouTube thing because I just wanted to help people. I'm self-taught. A lot of this stuff um, that I do, I learned how to do on my own. I'm going to go in with this darker brown right here. This is called Melodrama. So yeah, so it's just nice to hear, you know, that something you did helped someone or made some kind of impact. And I'm just going to kind of smoke this out on the side here. And I'm going to light, I'm barely, barely, barely putting any pressure down on this. I'm going to take a little bit of this black right here. This is called Leotards. That's a weird name for a... So a little bit of that black right there. And I'm just going to... Just kind of darken it up a little bit on the edge. And I am going to blend it over. I'm sorry. This is... I am like not on it. So this is Esmeralda. This is the color that I'm using on my lid. Alright, so 
So I'm just gonna do another coat on here and then I'm gonna go back in with my BH blending brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this waltz color again and I'm just gonna kind of blend everything together and I think that's it that is my work look I'm just gonna throw some mascara on oh you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner and this stuff is fantastic I mean this is like the best eyeliner. I was scared to use it. I didn't use it for the longest time. It is the Pretty Vulgar um, Black Liquid Liner. And it's one of the ones that you dip the brush in and do it. And I'm going to tell you why I love it so much. Because I can literally just put the smallest line like right under my eyelid. Like right on my lash line. It, it, it just allows, I just use this brush right here. And it just, I can get in so close. It's definitely a little more time consuming than a regular like liquid eyeliner. But I think it's so much nicer. I don't know, I love it. Wicked, wicked easy to do a wing with too. I will do a little one. So that's not a bad wing. And I'm just gonna quickly do the other eye. So that's that, I'm gonna clean this off. Throw some mascara on. I'm gonna use some of my Better Than Sex mascara. And then I'm going to use my Elizabeth Arden Midnight Eye Pencil. And I'm going to go and just put it on my waterline. And let's do lips. So this is my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. It's in a, a really dark brown color and I'm gonna put it on kind of thick and you'll see why I'm gonna overdraw my lips just a little bit my Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the color stripped I am addicted to this lipstick love it there we go that's it I'm gonna go throw my uniform on and off to work I go. So thank you guys for coming and chit-chatting with me and I hope to really see you all soon. I am gonna do some fun videos. I'm just gonna keep exploring and getting more ideas for them and um, you know, I'll see you soon. And if you have any questions or comments, anything that you guys would like to see me do, leave them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see all of you lovelies super, super soon. Mwah. I love you. Thank you so much. Bye.